Hi friends. Uh, Hi sir. This is Namrata, and I'm here with the just checking out. Actually, I'm unable to see how many people have so far joined me. Uh, if you have, kindly just give me a yeah 30 people have joined okay so let me start by saying that i do kerala murals the traditional way i have learned from traditional artists and uh, i basically uh, teach the proportions the measurements and then i uh, do it but for students nowadays people i might not be able to answer your comments because my phone is on the stand but uh, i'll answer them as and when i can okay so let me start with the materials that i use uh, i use canvas in various forms uh, the one that i'm using currently is a stretch canvas that is a canvas in a frame it comes like this this is a smaller version i'm using a Right now for this painting, I'll be using a 2 by 2 feet canvas. So this is one that I use and love this because you don't have to do anything. Just varnish it and then you, it's ready to hang up. Uh, the other canvases that I use are like these. These are all parts of a big roll of canvas. Um, it's 5 feet, uh, 5 meters in length by 1 meter in width. And I cut it as and when I require and whatever size I need. Okay, so these are, these are all part of the same uh, role. The other one is uh, canvas boards. If you can see this, these are uh, just canvas that have been prepared on a board. And these are some of my paintings that I've done and which are really popular. So I keep redoing them. Uh, no, I don't get bored. I love it because each painting is different in its own way. Uh, there is one more yeah this one it looks like a sh the same thing the sheet of roll but it comes in the form of books so this is like if you have a writing pad how it opens up it opens up like this that way there are about 20 sheets in a pad so I use that I don't have it right now but it's also convenient for this uh, size if you have a just have one regular size to do then you can use those there are many sizes that you to get it in apart from that uh, obviously i need the uh, materials like stationery basic ones uh, and this is a masking tape that i use to uh, tape my drawings for students uh, most of the students they like to draw from tracing so i do that also and if anybody is interested in learning with measurements, I do that also. So uh, this is an example of measurements and uh, the drawings. Each element has its own particular measurement. You know, you just can randomly draw. So like these, you know, look, all the drawings, all the measurements and every design is named every element is a particular uh, name it has okay and uh, definitive uh, I should say proportions uh, okay so this is Kesha uh, Pushpa that is used for adornment these are Mashipu this is, this is the basic uh, pattern that you find in Kerala murals so this is what I do apart from this I also use uh, tracing paper now tracing paper comes in various forms i'm oh, sorry carbon paper this is the white one this is the yellow and this is the blue i randomly uh, sorry randomly i generally do not use black and blue this is blue and this is black um, because they leave quite dark markings you know and then you're not able to correct them the best I find is a white carbon and if in a pinch you do not find white carbon you can use yellow carbon white carbon leaves, leaves the least amount of trace 
in a painting. So it's the best thing that you can have. So I have those and obviously tracing paper. And then I have a sketch that I have downloaded uh, from the internet. And I use it quite frequently. Uh, this is done by Mr. Uni M. Money and I have his permission to use it here. So copyright is a must. I mean, you should, uh, as far as possible, try to uh, take the permission of the artist. But with the internet, I know it's not possible to quite an extent. Apart from that, the major thing that we use are acrylic paints. Uh, so I have these. Uh, they are basically Kerala Mural paintings are of uh, known as Panchavarna paintings because uh, uh, they use five definitive colors. Uh, pardon me, I might be boring you, but the basic is uh, knowledge is also required when you're starting a painting. So Kerala Mural paintings were based, uh, initially done on temples uh, and uh, other places community places. Uh, they were rarely used in houses earlier. Nowadays, people do like to use them in the house. Um, each painting is based on a shloka. So the way of the position of the hands, the position of the body, head, everything is defined in shlokas. And uh, this is what is taught in uh, uh, Kerala, where they have in huge uh, institutions the old type gurukuls to teach these and it takes anywhere between four or five years for a student to learn so um, my knowledge compared to those is like very minimal uh, but what I uh, my s teacher has taught me is that uh, the uh, walls were first prepared uh, with particular emphasis for as a base for painting um, also, they included uh, many uh, ingredients that would help uh, prevent uh, insect, insect inf infestation or termite infestation. Uh, colors used earlier were natural colors uh, derived from plants and stones and uh, other natural sources. Nowadays, it is expensive to get those and they are not easily available to everyone. So, we've come to... Uh, acrylic colors now white is never used I have white in my palette but it is almost never used generally I use only when students make a mistake or they need to correct it otherwise I don't use white the main colors that are used are green yellow orange blue and black okay so uh, one or two shades are uh, I always never get the exact colors by using one single color so I usually use them as a combination so you will find two yellows here two uh, oranges uh, two greens but what I do is I mix them and get that particular color I want um, so Panchwarna is black blue orange yellow and green so these are five colors that are used white is the natural color of the base so it comes through but you're not supposed to use it but for students it is a necessity um, this is as far as the colors go um, yeah uh, now apart from this i have my uh, bottle uh, bowl for my washing my brushes i have my uh, paint uh, brushes here I have a various assortment of brushes for acrylic paintings. I keep my brushes separate. Oil paintings, acrylic, watercolors, all my brushes are separate. I don't mix them up. Uh, so for this painting, I will initially... Uh, anybody would like to ask me any questions regarding the materials used? I can go on and on about the paintings, the background, the history, but I don't want to kind of block up this place. Uh, the other thing that I want to emphasize on is that uh, always 
paint soothing uh, calm uh, pictures do not use scenes of war scenes of uh, harm or uh, violence to decorate your homes so kerala mural paintings always always have the gods and goddesses in, in a soothing and a calm um, manner uh, uh there are paintings of uh, the geeta also Uh, but uh, i don't do those um personal this thing i want uh, people to have good aura in their homes uh, so that is there um uh, i find that krishna and ganesha are the most popular of my paintings but as today i am doing a uh, hanuman painting for somebody uh, close so that also is possible then uh, if people are not very interested in gods and goddesses you have uh, natural scenes you know you have trees you have nature scenes you have birds you have uh, deer those also you can do you have lotus pond it depends on what your preference is